for me, it kind of goes back a long ways. I worked as a cooperant in Mozambique and worked in Southern Africa. And one of the things that got through to me and, and was very disturbing, I was there at the time of what they called structural adjustment and seeing nations sort of taken uh, to a point where they lost their health, education services, their infrastructure, roads, sanitation, water supplies, uh, because they had to pay back these debts. And knowing that a lot of these debts were being paid back to northern bankers and northern companies and so on that were controlling the debt structures. So that first got to me about who, who controls taxes and is there tax justice or not and how does it work. The other side of that too that I, that I found alarming was that uh, we were seeing uh, and still going on very much in Africa and other places in the world that natural resources are being basically taken. They're being stripped, countries are losing their natural resources, and it takes away from the wealth of a nation. And that all ends up being profit in the back of the large corporate globalization you know, structures that we see today. So those kind of things really got through to me that we had to kind of deal with a way that made tax justice happen that would actually work with and support communities around the world. Well, I think Canadians for Tax Fairness is one of the most important initiatives uh, in Canada on trying to create a, a, a tax system that's equitable for everybody. We have a real problem in this province of Saskatchewan. We have a very large uh, uranium company, one of the biggest in the country, and it's been really using tax havens to avoid paying taxes where their wealth is generated. So we were able to make links with uh, Canadians for Tax Fairness. Uh, it resulted in some really interesting campaigns. We've had a billboard campaign ongoing asking that uh, Chemical pay its, its taxes. And I think they're at about 1.8 billion that they owe right now. In a lot of ways, we've been able to work with Canadians for Tax Fairness on kind of a literacy approach to understanding taxes uh, by explaining things like Chemical and other companies and what tax dodges are and tax havens are. The public can organize itself can put pressure on and can make the changes that will make an equitable tax system and will give the money back. There's about $199 billion that's sitting outside of Canada that could do so much inside Canada. And you can pick up your local, provincial uh, projects. There are companies right across this country who are tax avoiders, tax evaders, and you can do your campaign and then it can fit together in a national campaign. So we'd like to keep doing that. We will keep doing that.